the stew. I am Fern. I'm Les. And I'm Janae. <laughs> and we are so glad that you have joined us again today. Yeah. So ladies, what's up? <laughs> Boy, we got some hotness in store today. Really? Yeah. We got a show that's more or less geared around entertainment and mm. film and Hollywood and what a better way to get into it than to talk about the hottest thing in Hollywood right now, mm -hmm. which is Harvey Weinstein. Oh, I think yeah. anybody who's anybody, anybody. <laughs> should know that name by now. Yeah. Even if you don't watch films, even if you don't follow up with the industry, yeah. you should have at least well, heard that name. If you didn't know him, you definitely yeah. know him by now. Yes. He has been the hot topic in controversy just because of... Well, not just because, but because of the fact that he was a big, um, I guess, a Democrat of sorts. So mm -hmm. he supported the a Democratic Party in the U.S. He was a big supporter of, you know, these movements. Mm -hmm. But he's also been known to feel up on woman. Mm -hmm. That's pretty yeah. much what I it like is. I like that. Feel up woman. My well, that's, that's, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, <laughs> let me break it down for you. I he was basically going and... Uh, Scheduling these meetings, um, his assistants were anyway, mm. scheduling these uh, meetings with up and coming actresses or mm -hmm. wannabe actresses. And as a result of that, um, he would say, Come to my hotel room and then try to feel him up or, you know, be in his robe and, yeah. or he fully yeah. naked. Yeah. And the women be like, Bowie, yeah. this ain't yeah. what I signed up and for. See the thing is, it's it's caused such a huge uproar in these recent weeks because he's a Hollywood tycoon, he's a Hollywood mm -hmm. producer. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with Harvey Weinstein um, with just knowing the fact that a lot of these great blockbuster films and independent films as well are produced by the Weinstein Company. Yes. It's like yeah. if you are anybody in Hollywood, you want to get hooked up with the Weinstein Company. That is the company, that is like the who's who of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And so the mere fact that it has now come out that he's been at this for decades, there's this huge uproar because... I mean, the Weinstein Company has funded, I mean, so, some of the top movies in the industry, some of the top female actors out there but talking have about been the associated. Actresses. Oh, yes. When yes. Gwyneth Paltrow, Paltrow came out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Angelina, Angelina Jolie, Jolie came yes. out. Um, Rose McGowan exactly. had spoken about it. Emma Thompson. Yeah. I mean, the list is... But that, doesn't that make you Ooh. angry, right? I understand at the point that they were kind of hit on by him. Yeah. He, they were just up and coming. They weren't... Yeah. Um, you know, they, they hadn't, exactly, they yeah. weren't established. Yeah. And, but they kept quiet. Yeah. Until now. Because, again, because of who he was and what he represented yeah. and the, 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 the image, I guess, the yeah. power that his company holds. I think but Ashley Judd. Right? No, no I'm not right. saying that it is, mm -hmm. but it, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate. As you mentioned, you know, you had these up and coming actresses, like Ashley Judd was one of the first to really speak out against it. And she, I think at the time, was in her teens. Yeah, she was. You know, and here, it is you know you want to become a famous actress and be known for your talents but Harvey Weinstein and his company are sitting at the top of the totem pole and so you find yourself in a position where next thing you know you know you're being propositioned what do you do and I'm not saying that any of them you know followed through but it's like I that rock in a hard place finding out but in Decades. any event Harvey Weinstein was fired from the Weinstein he company. He was, the company he founded. And um, so that's that. So yeah. after this, kind of not, not necessarily switching um, the topic, but we're definitely going to talk to a very, very famous, I call him famous. He is but famous. But a prominent <laughs> local producer here and the major success that he's having now. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the stew and thank you so much for joining us. We're very excited about our next guest because guess what? His name is absolutely synonymous with filmmaking in the Bahamas and he's certainly no stranger to our stew couch. Please join me in welcoming back Kareem Mortimer. <laughs> So, Mr. Mortimer, welcome back. Well, it's good to be back. Thank you for having <laughs> me back. Welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah, the well, last it's a big time, time for you. Yeah, it, it's it's a huge time for you. The last time you were here, we were talking about your career and your success, mm -hmm. and that was leading up to the reason why you are here now. Yes. yes. Cargo, the gala film premiere is happening next week. Next Thursday. Yes. yes. The 19th. My goodness. <laughs> are now, you, are you nervous? How do you feel? How do I feel? I, well, I am a little nervous. <laughs> um, <laughs> like beauty pageant nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous. This is, um, this is my hometown, yeah. you know, and we've showed all over the world, but like, wow. I, I never have to see those people again. So yeah. these are uh, friends and family and people it's that I really care about. It's a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. The thing is, you um, you did Cargo as the, um, or I should say Passage was more or less the prelude to Cargo. Yeah. When you were doing Passage, which was a short film ahead of this, did you always know that you were, you know, doing that to lead to Cargo, the well, feature film? That's a good question, because actually I had wrote, written Cargo first. And oh. we couldn't get any traction, so we made a short film oh. uh, to kind I of wondered boost that. It. I was yes. going to ask you that if that was more or less the purpose and the reasoning behind it to get like the funding, I guess, for Cargo. Yeah, it was twofold. Like, so I worked with the Commonwealth Foundation, and they helped me develop the short film Passage. Passage. Okay. Um, I had written Cargo before, and it, that that process actually helped. Uh, to go revisit Cargo and make it what it is oh, right nice. now. So that's Lovely. how it happened. So yeah. Cargo's been um, kind of on the international film circuit. How has it been received internationally and how do you think that's going to now translate coming home? I think that this movie was made with the Bahamian audience in mind. Okay. You know, I live here and I know what makes us tick mm -hmm. and what makes us laugh and what yeah. makes movies shocks us. Internationally, people have been able to relate to it. In Miami, we had a sold out screening. Oh. Uh, in Trinidad, we recently won the Amnesty International Human Rights Prize. Oh. And uh, we've had really good screenings so far and people are really have been really moved by the film. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's been a really, really um, great reception wow. so far. Nice. Yeah. Why don't you give us kind of the storyline just so our audience yeah. So the storyline is the story of a sensitive fisherman who becomes a human smuggler to pay off a gambling debt. Wow. Mm -hmm. How do you think this film gonna, is going to open up, open up doors for other persons in the industry and for yourself? Well, I hope to, to tell more stories, whether they take place in the Bahamas or through the world. Um, I, I think what this film does is prove that, that Bahamians have abilities to, to tell stories that resonate not only in our stage, but on the global stage as well. Awesome. I hope that, you know, when I was coming up as a filmmaker uh, many years ago, there were not many people that were living in the Bahamas that were making a living doing films. And so I look at the next generation of filmmakers uh, when they look at all of the great work that uh, the Bahamian filmmakers are doing, like whether it's Lovato, Maria, myself, mm -hmm. and others, that they have, like, they can even go even further. And I think that as one, we're at the forefront, so we're taking one step at a time. Yes. Yeah. Would you say, Kareem, that your interest in filmmaking or storytelling more or less lies in the human interest? Because I'm just thinking now of your, I should say, your repertoire, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. of movies, even going back to uh, Float, for yes. example. They all had that, that message that resonates so much with the human condition. Is that where you prefer to be? You're taking it way back. <laughs> I, love, I love it. I love it. I love it. That movie is 11 years old now. Hey, um, I remember that at the Bahamas <laughs> International Film Festival. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I did not set out <laughs> to, to make these type of films, but these type of films living in, I, I live in the Bahamas and, and these, and of, to make a film takes a very long time. Yes, you know, um, so Cargo was seven years, right? Wow. And so to sustain, that type of momentum for such a long time, you have to do something that you're really passionant about and, mm -hmm. and, and a film that you 
think can help and add to the conversation. Yeah. Um, I would love to do a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to do an adventure movie. Yeah. And that's going to come. So I, I haven't defined myself as oh, yet, right. but, but I'm still... Well, you're well, still so young. Yes. There's yeah. still so much ahead of you. What are the plans now after Cargo? After Cargo? So, Cargo is going to be on the table for a long time. So yeah. we have to do a theatrical release uh, next year, and we're going to take it to different countries commercially. Mm -hmm. So that's what's the immediate. Cargo is going to be Kareem's story for a bit. Yes. And then I've also written a couple of other scripts that um, okay. I'm attaching uh, talent to. Nice. Uh, one is yes. a drama, and another one is a comedy. Did you say oh, drama? <laughs> 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 I was just about to toss <laughs> my card his <laughs> way, okay? They're poopies. They want to be poopies. But honestly, hey, we would like to say thank you so much for yeah. what you are doing. Uh -huh. You are really putting the Bahamas out there on the map uh -huh. on a completely different level. We here wish you all the absolute, absolute success. Yes. And you'll see us next week yes, yes. at yes. the Cargo yes. premiere, the yes. gala premiere. As yes. uh, is that is that yep. the official it's name? Gala the gala, gala premiere. premiere. Oh, yeah. does that mean like long dress? Yes, yes. Wear, wear an outfit. outfit. You gotta run out. <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gotta run right out, everyone. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. We want to yeah. celebrate ourselves. You yeah. know? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we're gonna take a break, and on the other side, we actually have a little more with Kareem. He's gonna stick around for just a few more moments. So don't you go anywhere. You're watching this too. We'll be right back. This design tip is brought to you by Sherwin-Williams. Sorry, I'm just stretching a bit. So we're back on the stew. Welcome back. So we've still got Kareem here. We are going to put him to the test and ask him a few hmm, hard questions, might I say. Not so hard. It's more. It's a fun game. Okay. We're gonna. Sh we're gonna actually learn the lighter side of you. I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Perfect. So I guess I am first. All right. I and this is for the team, but you come in first. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. okay. Ready? This is an awkward question, guys. Toilet paper over or under? This over, rapid fire. Over where? <laughs> over, 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 over. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. uh, favorite Bahamian side dish? Macaroni. Tea or coffee? Tea. Tea. Favorite Bahamian holiday? Uh, National Heroes Day. Mm. Favorite place to travel? London. <laughs> mm. Favorite family island? Eleuthera. Oh, oh, I yeah. should have known that one. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Now we want to actually take it up a level, you know, seeing as you are this absolutely prolific Bahamian filmmaker, oh. right? Bahamian Icon Award winner. Two times. Oh, wow. Two Sorry. times, people. Get it right. <laughs> okay, we want to test your movie knowledge. So we're going to throw some rather famous quotes at you okay. and see how you do with that. See if you can actually name the movie that the quote is from, okay? But these are easy. Okay. I think you should ace this. I love a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. hit me. So, uh... <clears throat> Show me the money! Jerry Maguire. 
<laughs> yes. So that's, you have to, you have to enact it. Do you want the actor as well? No, no, I, I got oh, this one. Oh, uh, sure. Show that off. is um, Cuba Gooding Jr. Okay. Yes. Yes. If you yes. bad, tell me to yes. nail. That would have been 1997. You're close. 96. 96? Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Watch this one. I'm just remembering this movie. I'm the king of the world. Oh, that's uh, Titanic. Yes. Leo DiCaprio. And that's 97. Yes, it is. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Dang, Korea. You're yeah, pretty good, Korea. You are good. Okay. I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> where do I go from here? Because I haven't watched any of these movies, really. really? Just say the line. Brownie's coming for you! Did you do that one? A Nightmare on Elm Street? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And there's more to it, but you got it. What? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> That's 84? Or 86? Ooh. 84? Yes! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's too good no, at no, this. No, 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 wait. <clears throat> there's no crying in baseball! That's a league of their own. Ah! Uh, 92. I love it. That's all right. That's movie. Listen. Uh, yeah. You're crying? Yeah. You're crying? There's no crying in baseball. Yeah. That's an awesome movie. Yeah. That was a great movie. Yeah. yeah. Life is like a box of chocolate. That's oh, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Yeah, 94. Yeah, real easy. Yeah. Hold on. Are there any hard ones on here? Oh, how this about one. this one? As far back as I could remember. I always wanted to be a gangster. Oh, now you got me. Now you got me. I'm just gonna do a guess, and I am going to say Godfather. Close. Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Yeah. Yeah. You know they all related. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The filmmakers and the director, they all yeah, in the same yeah, movie. Yeah, so, yeah. wow, that was fantastic, yes. Kareem. Oh, thank you. Thank Good you much. so much. Oh, man, it was awesome having you here, sitting on the couch with us. Once again. It was a pleasure talking yeah. to you ladies. Yeah. I can't wait to see what you've got up your sleeve next time yeah. and what other movies you'll be back to premiere. Premiere, mm -hmm. and promote, and telling stories is yeah. what we do. And congrats on Cargo yeah. and its future success, its present success. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we're looking forward to the premiere next week. Yes. Yeah. Yes. On the 19th of October. 19th of October. Can you tell us some more about it? 19th of October at Atlantis Theater. You can get yeah. your tickets at cargopremiere.com. That's oh. cargopremiere, P-R-E-M-I-E-R-E. Dot com. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I add that at E. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, good and can stuff. I, uh, can we hit you up on social media? Of course, of course. People always put me on social media. I am, I'm, I'm, I try to respond to everyone, um, but if you send me a message, I'll always respond. Okay, okay. perfect. So if yeah. I said, uh, hey, I'm a good drama girl, yeah. and I have drama in my bones, but you'll you be like, stay far away. <laughs> but you have my number. <laughs> like, I'll do these random calls. About? So I am feeling like things are hard. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and don't do the same thing, you guys, because <laughs> then he will block my number. No. So thank you again. Thank no, you thank so, Thank you and so congrats much. on everything, guys. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're going to take a break. So after this, yep. there's more stew. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The Stew, and it's that time where we want to give each of you a shout out. Yes, we know you're watching, we know you're tuned in, and guess what? We put up those comments on our social media just for you to get some feedback and see how you're feeling, what you're thinking. And recently we asked the question, what would you never eat? And boy. <laughs> did we get some very interesting responses. I just want to say a quick shout out and hello to Kyle L. Taylor, who says that he would never eat octopus, sushi, cat, dog, rat, or snake. <laughs> I'm with you there, I Kyle. I'm I with you. Him. But listen, <laughs> I can't be with Ray Nice. Ray, sushi, pig feet, guava duff, cheesecake. What? 
Many I, ain't friends. Hold on. I think that's one thing, actually. Guava but, duff cheesecake? Isn't that one thing? But or is it, it two? But it could be two. It could okay. be guava duff and no, but, cheesecake. But, but, but both are Come on, so man. Delicious. No, that's what I'm saying. Ray, what's up with you? No, man. We're going to have to I, talk, yeah. Ray. Cheesecake's yeah. delicious. Yes, it so is. I really have to say it must be guava duff cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> that's delicious, too. I, I had mean. it. It I was don't like it. Okay, so I think Wilton McQueen had the best point of them all human meat he's yeah. not into that yeah no I, one's I into could. that no cannibal no. up in here but no. we have somebody uh rosina bath who doesn't like beets i didn't like beets as a child oh, i yeah. gotta say my mom yeah. made me eat them all the time but i actually enjoy beets now if they're pickled just right yum yum in the tum tum yeah. mm. i must agree with you les you put a little bit of seasoning to it oh yeah oh janae onions. ain't feeling that I, no janae yeah, yeah, you yeah. need I to let like pickle your beets then. for you honey and i didn't i still don't like let it me today pickle it's, your beets. it's too much and then i think it stains like your gums and your teeth it's too much <laughs> no, it's really too much too red oh let yeah. me pickle them for you you'll be all right well listen to dawn roll I can't agree with Dawn Roll because I had it. Dawn Roll says turtle meat. Now I know oh. we don't want to kill the little turtles, but honestly, turtle meat is so soft and nice. No, you gotta stop nice right there. Stop. No. And I'm delicious. Lo I'm losing it's respect for you. Delicious. Karen. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm sorry about the uh -huh. turtles, but it's delicious. Try it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. No, I um, I so, I was recently somewhere. <laughs> I want to say I can't remember where. And they, oh yeah, we did like an Exuma tour, and oh. they actually had um, tur they were serving turtle, mm -hmm. and I just couldn't get myself to eat it, knowing you know the state of trying to protect yeah. our yes, turtles. Exactly. And, oh, no, it just I couldn't do it. But yeah. um, I have to say, Sherelle Ferguson, Christy, avocado, and no, I get it. I was a ha avocado hater for the longest and then I went on a diet girl and let me tell you something that saved my life so this is how you yeah. serve it you've got to squeeze lime on it you got to put your salt and pepper on it and your little paprika if you like spice kind of thing oh it's so delicious and it's healthy fat so yeah. you know when you're on a diet and you still want to keep your butt it's the perfect thing avocado is life that's it is. all I can say it is but I think that's our time, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a fun episode. It we want to say a huge thank you to our guest today, Kareem Mortimer. Go and check out Cargo, the gala film premiere that will be at the Atlantis October 19th. And yes, guess what? We'll have more stew for you the next time you see us wonderful ladies. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. See you next time. Bye.